y'all this is diamond this is always diamond and we are about to get into a video so today i have decided to come onto your screen and eat uh this is going to be a chat with diamond chit chat with diamond you know catch up in a way really we just chatting we just chatting you know who knows what we're going to talk about we're just going to be chatting so if that sounds interesting to you and you know you want to see you know what i got to talk about then stay tuned to this video girl look i'll even give you a moment to get your food together you know pick out what you want you know i'm gonna have a burger so i'm gonna be eating a boca burger with um i don't know maybe i don't have any fries so i think it was probably gonna be some chips and that's what I'm going to eat, sis. So whatever you eat, go on and get it. You know, go on and get your food. Get your plate together. Get your drink. Because we're about to sit down. <laughs> we're about to sit down and chitty chat, chat, chat with Diamond. So if you're interested in seeing that video, make sure you, you stay tuned. Make sure you give me a like if you end up, you know, enjoying it. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, my name again is Diamond. I am a lifestyle content creator on YouTube. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you when you go get your food, sis. <laughs> We're back. All right, so I'll just show y'all what's on my spread. You ain't gonna really see it because I'm gonna be eating. But I got my Boca burger. Mmm, this light is really good. So I have some, it's not vegan cheese. I ain't having vegan cheese. It's not vegan cheese. Um, some pepper jack cheese, Boca burger, some mixed vegetables, and tomato. Some Southwest mustard, and some mayo. I used to put season on my bread. I actually noticed I did not do that. But um, sorry. And it's a toasted bun. Thumbnail. Again, this is, and this is always diamond, and this is a chit chat video as I eat. So, I know I haven't recorded in a minute. We'll get to that in another video, girl. We'll get to that in another video, but this video, I'm just coming to say hey. So, as we know, there has been a pandemic um you know we've been quarantining for some months and i know it's um i know it's been hard on a lot of people um you know some people were working some people have not but just it's just a change it's a change and a lot of us are not used to change so i don't know how you all have been handling it but i just kind of want to come i just kind of want to come and you know discuss how i've been handling it and maybe offer some type of um advice maybe offer some type of advice to you all on you know some coping some ways to for you to cope i feel like with all this um with all this confusion stress quarantine police brutality the hangings there's just been a lot going on for 2020, <laughs> a lot of us had this vision of like what 2020 is going to be, you know. And for the most part, honestly, I think it's been going that way. Because if you're looking at 2020 being this year of full crystal clear vision, you know, some people and maybe the conscious community. What is this chip I got? In the conscious community. A lot of us have looked at it as, you know, just an overall shift that's about to happen. So for me, I feel like we right on board, you know? You got to shake some shit up. Not the best way, you know. You obviously, you obviously don't want people to be passionate away, but just the, the things that are happening, you know? Sometimes stuff got to be shaken up, shaked up, whatever. Like, I'm going to talk about 
gosh, I'm spinning all around in here. What I want to talk about is how I've been coping. Um, just positive, just positive things that you can do on a daily basis and stay happy. And, you know, not let everything get to you and just keep moving, keep progressing. Um, I'll share a little bit about where, what I've been doing in the quarantine, I guess. I'd already been reading about um, affirmations and just how to program your mind to, you know, put the thoughts that you want to be spoken about and not, not get caught up in the noise, you know, just from things of meditation, things like that. But affirmations specifically, I started doing that this year. So that's what I, that'll be my first one. I got all sidetracked. I'm still eating though. It's still a chit chat. That's why we said we don't know what we're going to talk about. We don't know if this is going to make sense. I started recording myself doing affirmations. Um, I started taking posts off of Instagram. I would take posts off of Google and I would go to my phone on my voice memos and I would just record myself. Um, I think something that's really particular and what I, the way I decided to do my affirmations is for one, you don't have to record your voice. You can't just write it down. Um, you can't just, you know, get an app, affirming book. You know, you can just read. But what I started founding, finding is that the reading, you know, sometimes I fall out of reading or the writing. Sometimes I'm not always writing, but I'm always in my phone. So what I started doing was I record myself speaking. So, for instance, if I was saying, um, I don't know, let me throw something out. Okay. If I was saying, Diamond is entering in a space where she wins at everything. Everything that Diamond touches is leads to success. I don't know. You know, something like that. So, now I say that, then I go and I say, you are entering in a space where you are winning at everything. Everything that you touch turns successful. And then I would end as well. Well, I actually don't start it off with Diamond, but either way. I would also put in there that I am entering in a space that I where I am winning at everything and everything that I touch is successful. So I started doing that with so many poems. I have this one poem that's my favorite poem. I cannot recall who it is written by right now, but it's called I Will Not Die an Unlived Life. It's basically just talking about, you know, just not being afraid of living in your true potential or just living for that matter. Um, just letting fears and what ifs and, and you know imposter syndrome hold you back and that's something that speaks to me because it's something that I'm still I'm still growing with you know everybody has their struggles so I have that as one of my affirmations my friend Satin uh, her IG and her YouTube channel Sacred Melanin they actually have affirmation cards that I purchased which are phenomenal I actually go get those right now so hold on one moment all right so these are the cards all right so these are her cards and while they're not she she does say they're not tarot cards you know you could use them in in relation to that if you wanted to but they're not you know marketed like that I guess is what she's trying to say they're more affirmation mantra cards so you know what I started doing was I would just wake up in the morning. This could be before I was going to work. This could be um, on the way back. This could be on the weekends. It was really just whenever. And, you know, you just go in, pull one. I try to pull one at random so I can feel like, you know, it's just, it's not me. It's, you know, it's intuition. <laughs> so I try to pull one at random. And then I see one. Oddly enough, this is actually one of the ones that I recorded. So what I started doing was I would re take a couple cards that I liked and I would read them to myself and then I would record them on my phone doing the Diamond IU. So this one, for instance, if you can see, um, yeah, there you go. See that? 
don't look at my nails but you see that <laughs> all right so this one says a lot of things are rooted in fear do not allow a lot of things are rooted in fear. Do not allow a lower vibration such as fear to hold you back from walking away from anything that does not serve your highest good. I can speak on that card for a minute. But um, so that's one of the cards I started putting on my affirmations. And I changed that. Let me read it the way I need to. Okay. So with that, I would record it on my phone in my voice memo. And I would say a lot of things are rooted in fear. Diamond does not allow lower vibrations such as fear to hold her back from walking away from anything that does not serve her highest good. You know, because a lot of times when you're trying to speak to yourself, you have to think about that, you know, you, you're an I, but they also refer to you as you. Um, and you also go by the name Diamond for me. So you have to think about like all the names and all the different spaces that you're actually being referred to. I think for me, it helps because it's, it's just more concrete because I'm, I'm hearing you. This person is telling me you and I'm like, oh no, you are not rooted in fear. You know what I mean? Or it's like, <laughs> Diamond did this and I'm like, no, I did not. I've, I've told myself this. I've affirmed that. So these started becoming really powerful. Honestly, like I said, this one specifically, when I tell y'all this is this this card right here, this is going to lead y'all to quit your job. <laughs> I'm kidding, but this card is what really had me quit my job. Like really cemented me being like, all right, sis, I got to go because I was sitting here at a job that was not fulfilling me, that was toxic. That I'm sitting here, I, I really low key think I was like breaking out, like I was having body issues. Like you know, I don't tell you too much, but it was a lot going on, and I'm just like, I'm staying at this job because I'm afraid of what what could happen or the fear, you know. And but it's that lower vibrational energy that's not going to serve me. It's not very problem. It's very leaving the problem to be to be left you know i'm not solving the problem by sitting here like oh i'm scared so especially with the quarantine and everything it was just like oh you feel like you can't even leave the job but honestly that was something that kept me positive and that kept me positive and motivated to leave my job hopefully it'll help you um something else that i would say that I've just been trying to do to just keep myself positive to keep my mindset going and this is what this video is about like I said um since June <laughs> I don't know if it's been maybe mid-June it might be June but since June I've picked up working out again my goal for working out while I do you know I do obviously I, I do want to gain some weight I'm trying to take it away from that and I'm really just trying to do it to you know be happy so I don't look at a scale I don't I don't count nothing I don't count no macros I ain't never counted it because it's something in me just feels like it would add more to the kind of the unhealthy obsession I have with trying to gain weight or you know trying to look my age trying not to be so tiny even though I'm fine like ah! It's just, you know, sometimes you don't be feeling like you're fine. Sometimes you feel like you could be finer. I've been working out like every other day. There's been some days I missed. Hell, we're going to mess up sometimes. But I've been working out every other day. And I think it's been great, honestly. I just feel that more. That makes me happy. Seeing my shoulders not look so, like, I don't know, concaved or just not, like, puny. Like, I want to have a, a womanly stature. So those little things for me but I have been cooking more recently um even just in general you know even if you're not a vegetarian you're not pescatarian shoot sis eat, you eating you still eating the red meat you know you still eating it you out there eating at Burger King we have to place that Longhorn I don't care do you you know if you want to stop eating meat that's cool that's dope but if you don't hey do you but just you know cook more stop going out as much you know especially with all this you know the mask and stuff quarantine you know i think that's just good in general so if 
even if you are not a vegetarian just apply to yourself of just cooking more you know just just have that and cooking is also therapeutic i think that's something that i forget sometimes when i don't cook as much that it is therapeutic so you know it's just good to kind of get your mind away from stuff you know get your little little cutting and everything so that's something i think is very helpful to just de-stress you um or kind of now i was just nervous so i hope my sincerity comes across as as i would like to like it too so i intend to post another video this month but i don't know what it's going to be but stay tuned because it might be fire and you might like it sis but yes thank y'all so much for watching the video i did actually want to pull a card i was just thinking before in the video from my girl again satin marche these are her cards from her business sacred melanin where she tells us to understand that your melanin is sacred you must do all you can to protect it i think that's it but either way, understand that your melanin is sacred. I even actually tell y'all, these earrings. These earrings are from my friend, Adia. We actually went to high school together. She just started uh, her business. I think it's Cleo. But she just started her business. It's on IG. I will post a link to her site, her IG site. Um, her IG page on the in the description bar and I'll also post a link to Satin's website and her IG you know all her social media handles but yeah this is a earring from Cleo and they're really cute and it's actually made from clay she makes them herself so they're handmade uh, I do you know I, I love um, what is it I love sharing black businesses anywhere I can. I, I really try to, sh to shop with them as much as I can. I'm still getting into it though, you know, because not everything I do I own is black owned currently. But when I do have it, I do like to share it. So, in the way, blah, 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 before I get sidetracked, I'm going to pull a card from the Sacred Self deck and then we'll end the video. So, pick a card, sis. Pick a card. I feel you. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, you see what the words say. All right. You don't have to do shit you don't want to do. Boundaries are everything. Though there is a difference between love and boundaries, you can still love and have set and have boundaries set. You can still love and have boundaries set. If one cannot understand that, then fuck them. <laughs> it's what it said, though, friends. It's what it said. It's what it said, y'all. That's what it said. And I stand by it, okay? We all grown. I'm grown. My younger viewers, you ain't, if you ain't old enough to be listening to that, you shouldn't be watching the channel. But we grown out here. So, that's what it says. Hold that to your heart. Keep it there. But I made up a little song. And let's see how it works. So, alright y'all. This is going to be the end of my video. See you all next time with your girl. It's the person of the hour. Too sweet to be sour. It's your girl. Always diamond. Hey, okay, I got to go to it. Alright. Next time, we'll see you.